Hey, welcome back everyone. This is going to be a cool demo. We just finished learning about what is Azure IoT Hub and Azure IoT Central. In this walkthrough, we're going to create an Azure IoT Hub, then add an IoT device, and then we're going to test the device using the Raspberry Pi Simulator. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your instructor for this Azure Fundamentals exam series. So without wasting any more time, let's go create the IoT Hub. So now we are in our Azure portal. Let's go to all services and find IoT Hub. So you can just go to IoT Hub by just searching or typing in IoT Hub, or you can click on Internet of Things and along with all other Internet of Things services, you can find IoT Hub as well. To create an IoT Hub, it's pretty simple. Uh, anybody could do it. It's just, you just need to select your subscription, uh, Select a resource group where you want this IoT Hub to be part of. Uh, make sure you select the region which is closest to where you have the sensors. Because I'm testing this, I'm going to select East US. And give a name for your IoT Hub as well. Make sure the name you are giving is a unique value so that it accept the value you are giving. And after that, uh, there are other tabs as well like networking, size and scale. Azure Fundamentals exam doesn't expect you to know about how to configure these things. Azure Fundamentals exam test and validate your knowledge on the high level areas about Azure services. So you basically need to know about your Azure services, the core Azure services like Azure Functions, Azure Virtual Machine, etc. And what are the use case scenarios of that? then I'm sure that you will be able to sit for the exam and pass the exam. But if you would like to advance your career into Azure, then definitely you need to learn about advanced topics within each subject. That's where you will plan and sit for exams like AZ-104, uh, AZ-500, or AZ-204, etc. So now I'm going to create this IoT Hub. First, it's going to validate and uh, after the validation, it is going to initiate the deployment. So it usually takes up to a minute to create the Azure IoT Hub. I fast forwarded the video, so now we can straight away go into the deployment. So if I go under the notification, I can click on go to resource. It takes us directly back into the Azure IoT Hub. I can see which plan it has been part of. I can always go and modify it. Check the host name because sometimes we need to use the host name to connect to these sensors. And on the left hand side, that's where you can check all other services related to Azure IoT Hub as well. So those topics are again advanced topics like on the left hand side, you can see the settings. Under settings, you have a pricing and scale. You can always change the pricing tier. Uh, then there is certificates, networking, and uh, you can go under. Uh, failover for your services, etc. The important thing what we are going to explore today is right under Explorers, there are two things, Query Explorer and IoT Devices. So we're going to go into IoT Devices and uh, we're going to create a new device ID for our Raspberry Pi simulator. So under the devices, as you can see that there is no device at the moment. So you can hit on New. And that's how you can create a new IoT device. And give a name for your device. Uh, I'm going to call it as My Raspberry Pi. And uh, basically, you don't have to modify anything else apart from uh, just giving that. So again, uh, most of the other details, you might wonder why I am not going to talk about it. Because I don't want to confuse you and I don't want to go off topic as well. So we want to stay at Azure Fundamentals level for this course. But if you would like to learn more or advanced topics, please do make sure to check out the advanced examination course like MS500, AZ500, AZ104, etc. So I'll be preparing those video series soon as well. So hit save to create your new uh, Raspberry Pi. So once you refresh it, uh, you would be able to see that your device is created. The only value which we are bothered about at the moment is once you go into your device, you can find things like your device ID, your primary and secondary keys, 
and uh, then your primary and secondary string connections as well. So what we are after is the primary connection string because we're going to use that value to connect your IoT hub to your Raspberry Pi simulator. So I'm going to copy the value. Uh, I can easily show that value by clicking at the I symbol, but I'm just going to copy that value and put it in a notepad. And we're going to reuse that value when we go to the next step, which is where we are going to connect to the Raspberry Pi simulator. So I will see you on the next task. So now I have opened the online Raspberry Pi simulator on the same web browser on a different tab. So what you're seeing over here is a Raspberry Pi simulator. Of course, you can go and check those things out. So um, you can see that there is an LED displayed over there. Every time when you trigger this Raspberry Pi, uh, this turns on and the LED light flashes. So every time it flashes, our IoT Hub registers that as an event. So what I'm going to do now is I'm in the code area on the right side where it mentioned that uh, the connection string. So we, we copied that value over there. I'm going to copy it back again and I'm going to modify the connection string and replace with the connection string we just copied from the Azure IoT Hub Azure portal. That includes uh, the device ID of my Raspberry Pi and the shared access key which can directly connect to my Azure as well. So now on the bottom, uh, you can see that there are two buttons. It's tiny, but it's there right under uh, the console window. It's called run and reset. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit on run. So when I hit run, the console output should show the sensor data and the message that are sent from the Raspberry Pi simulator will be sent to my Azure IoT Hub as well. And the data our messages are sent each time the Raspberry Pi simulator LED flashes. So when I hit run, as you can see that on the left hand window, my LED signal is turning on and turning off. Each time it flashes, the message is being sent to my Azure IoT Hub. So I can now stop and return back to my Azure portal to show you each time there is a trigger. It, the Azure IoT Hub monitors this track as well. So now I'm in my Azure portal. Go back to my uh, Azure IoT Hub usage information. So go under overview. You can click scroll down to see the IoT Hub usage. As you can see that there is a spike. That spike means that there is a trigger which actually collected from the simulator. So if I click on that value, I can go in detail analysis on what, what's happening, things like that. We don't have much data to play around, but you get the idea, right? So every time my simulator triggers something, it is going to pull that trigger back into the Azure simulator. So to avoid additional cost, now I'm going to go and remove all the resources we created just now. I'm going to go to my resource group. Select all the resources, which is related to Azure IoT Hub. And I'm going to delete it. Confirmation. Yes. That was a cool demo. So we learned about how to create an IoT Hub. We learned about how to simulate a Raspberry Pi. And we successfully connected the Raspberry Pi simulator to the Azure IoT Hub as well. In the next video, we're going to talk about Azure Big Data and Analytics. We're going to explore Azure Artificial Intelligence and we're going to define serverless computing as well. That's pretty exciting too. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.